Welcome, children of God. Welcome to RunAllGodsChildren.com, where Jesus is the teacher. He is going to show us what he wrote to us. And if you want to know why you come to Run All God's Children, not just because I'm ministering unto our Lord and Grandfather God is my witness, but Jeremiah, the ninth chapter, the 24th verse, but let him that glory, glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me that I am the Lord, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. That's why you come to run all God's children, because you are a witness unto me doing what he delights. Jeremiah, the 16th chapter, the 21st verse. Therefore, behold, I will this once cause them to know, I will cause them to know my hand and my might, and they shall know that my name is the Lord. Yes, our Father, Lord God, Jesus Christ Almighty, Grandfather gave us a father. Do you think Grandfather God would make something like us? Oh, children of God. Ephesians, the third chapter, the ninth verse, and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world have been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ, who created all things by Jesus Christ. Well, you wondering why I call him Father? Because he created all things and I'm doing what he delights because he wrote to us, well, Grandfather wrote the book. He gave us the true and living word. He gave us love. And when God's children Start telling people about our Lord Jesus Christ, our Father. You will know what love is. For it is written, every word that comes out of your mouth will be that of God. What is he going to do unto us? Well, let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to praise his name, that laws of laws, that king of kings. I'm going to praise his name, the truth and the light that shine in you and me. And I'm going to praise his name, I got a witness. He's our grandfather, God. I said I got a witness. He's our grandfather, God. His son. He gave us a son. He gave his only beloved son. And he's to come. Yes, he's to come, that only beloved son, and I'm going to praise his name. Yes, I'm going to praise his name. He's Father, Lord God. Jesus Christ, and I'm gonna praise his name. He's in you. He's in me. He's in 
Almighty, starting off the reading, Isaiah, the 21st chapter, it's about the prophets, the bewailing of the captivity of his people, seeing the vision of the fall of Babylonia, and a set time for the air calamity. A-R-A-B-I-A. -A -A. Air calamity. Isaiah, the 21st chapter, the first through the sixth verse. The burden of the desert. D-E-S-E-R-T. Of the sea. The burden of the desert of the sea. As whirlwind. Now, let me tell you what dessert is. Abandon. A person or an organization. A person, cause, or organization. Abandon. In a way considered disloyal or treacherous. The whirlwind in a way considered disloyal or treacherous. As whirlwind in the south pass through, so it condemneth from the desert, from a terrible land. A grievous vision is declared unto me, a treacherous dealer dealeth treacherously, and the spoiler, spoiler, go up, O M E L A M M, besiege, O Medina, M E D I A. All the signs thereof have I made to cease. The third verse. Therefore are my lawns filled with pain. Pancreas have taken hold upon me. As the pancreas of a woman in travail. Trevor, I was bowed down at the hearing of it. I was dismayed at the seeing of it, the fourth verse, my heart panicked. Fearness frightened me. The night of pleasure have turned me into fear unto, unto me. My heart planted. Fearfulness frightened me. And night of my pleasure have turned into fear unto me. The fifth verse. Prepare the table. Watch in the watchtower. Eat, drink, 
Arise, ye princes, and anoint the shield. The sixth verse. For thus hath the Lord said unto me, Go, set a watchman. Let him declare what he seeth. Isaiah the 21st verse through the 9th and the 10th verse. Behold, here cometh a chariot of men with a couple of horsemen. And he answered and said, Babylonian is fallen, is fallen. And all the grave image of her gods, he have broken into the ground. The 10th verse. Oh, my threshing and the corn of my floor, that which have heard of the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I have, have I, Declare unto you. Isaiah the 21st verse. The 13th through the 17th verse. The burden upon Arab. A-R-A-B-I-A. The burden upon Arab. And the force of the Arab. Shall a lot. Shall ye lie. Old traveling companies of Dinama, D E D A N I M, the 14th verse. The inhabitants of the land of T E M A, Tema, brought water to him that was thirsty. They prevented they prevented with their bread him that fed. The 15th verse. For he fled from the sword, from the drawn sword, and from the bent bow, and from the grievous war. The 16th verse. For thus have the Lord said unto me, Within a year, according to the years of a hiring, and all the glory of cedar shall fail. The 17th verse. The residue of the number of archers, the mighty men of the children of K-E-D-A-R, Kedar, shall be diminished. For the Lord God of Israel have spoken it. O oh Lord, when will this happen? I told him what we read, and you going to show it to him. Isaiah, the 19th chapter, the first through the fourth verse. The burden of Egypt. Behold. The Lord rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come unto Egypt, into Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. And the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. Second verse. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians and they shall fight every one against his brother and every one against his neighbor city against city and kingdom against kingdom the third verse and the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof and I will destroy the counsel thereof. And I shall seek to the idol and the charmer 
and they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards. The fourth verse. And Egypt will I give over into the hands of a cruel lord. A fierce king shall rule over them, saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts. When you brought the children out of Egypt land, did they think that was it? Lord. This is what you're going to show the children. Cities against city, kingdoms against kingdoms. How great thou art. Isaiah, the 19th chapter, the 11th and 12th verse. Surely the princes of Zon, Z-O-A-N, are fools. The counsel of the wise counselors of the Pharaoh is become beautish. How ye, how say ye unto the Pharaoh, how say ye to the Pharaoh, I am the son of the wise, the son of the ancient kings. The 12th verse. Where are they? Where are the wise men? And let them tell thee now. And let them know that the Lord of hosts have proposed upon Egypt. Lord, you told them, you told your children. Before it happened, you're going to let them know. Isaiah, the 19th chapter, the 14th and 16th verse. The Lord hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof. As a drunken man staggered in his own vomit. The 16th verse. In that day shall Egypt be like unto a woman, and it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hands of the Lord of hosts, which he shaketh over it. Now show them, Lord. Show them your hand and your might. What are you going to do to the United States of America? They fighting and arguing over a man. Isaiah, the 19th chapter, the 18th through the 25th verse. In that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan and swear to the Lord of hosts. One shall be called the city of destruction, the 19th verse. In that day shall there be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt and a pillar at the border thereof unto the Lord, the 20th verse. And it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt. For they shall cry unto the Lord because of the oppressors, and he shall send them a Savior, a great one, and he shall deliver them. The 21st verse. And the Lord shall and the Lord shall be known. And the Lord shall be known to Egypt. And the Egyptians shall know the Lord in that day. 
and shall do sacrifice and obligations. Yea, they shall vow a vow unto the Lord and perform it. The 22nd verse. And the Lord shall smite Egypt. He shall smite and heal it. And they shall return even to the Lord. And he shall be intrigued of them and shall heal them. The 23rd verse. And that day there will be a highway out of Egypt to Ceres, a Ceres. And the Ceres shall come unto Egypt and the Egyptians unto the Ceres. And the Egyptians shall serve with the Assyrians. The 24th verse. In that day shall Israel be the third with Egypt and with the Assyrians. Even a blessing in the midst of the land. Oh, how great thou art. The 25th verse. Whom the Lord of hosts shall bless, saying, Blessed be Egypt, my people, and Assyrians, the work of my hand, and Israel, my inheritance. Oh, Lord, how great thou art. Do the children believe in the runner that is running unto... Not believe, excuse me. Do the children know that they are a witness with belief that is... Our grandfather God is belief that gave us faith our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And my Lord, I have told the children, and it's important, there is someone, and that is you, Lord. Well, to run all God's children.com, where we will learn there is someone.
back, relax, let me read to you what has happened, what's going to happen. St. John, the 8th chapter, the 32nd verse, and you shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. There is someone, and may he be with us, his children, thanking the only Father and only Son. Thank you for letting me read to you so I and you can be made free. Yes, children of God, we will be made free. And that's the promise that he gave unto us. He promised that he's coming back for his children. Yes, for me and you. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, again, Father, Lord, Jesus Christ. Our Father. Thank you for letting me minister unto you. And thank you, Grandfather God, for being a witness with all the children that is in us. Yes, children of God, we are one with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And the only way you get to the Father. The only father, our grandfather, is through our Lord and Savior. And you now you know that he created everything. Isn't it time that you will give him that respect? Oh, children of God, I'm just running in the race and telling the children before my Lord, before Grandfather God, how this world is. This world blaspheme his name every day. The children of God blaspheme that worthy name by which we are called every day. I read it. And I shouldn't do it. I'm a child of God and I have done it. And say no more out oh, my child, my God. He's not your God. He's our God. And we are one. Well, children of God, take care of yourself. Because it's going to get rough in a minute. These are just some of the people. Some of the nations that he is going to get. This is one nation under God. But you see what they're doing to God's nation? They're turning God's children against one another. Why? Because of religion? Because of politics? Because of mamas and daddies? Oh, children of God, look in the mirror. You see why I called on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm no better than nobody. But I do know this growing up. The only one that can change things, that can stop what is happening in this world, is our Lord and Savior, our Father, Jesus Christ. Lord, for we doing what he delights. Thank you, Grandfather God, for being my witness. Take care of y'all, sir.